wrap it up like Jay Brock. Cause I can score with a second on the clock. No bank account, I put money in my side. Get it. All I know is Let's get it, your boy Jay Brock. I'm right here Clap with Cheetah. Y'all yeah, made sure. right here with none other than Cheetah Cat, an all around athlete. LA Demo, Collegiate All-American, current defensive back for the Arizona Rattlers. Yes, Cheetah, how you doing today, bro? I'm good, and you? How you oh, doing, man? man? I'm, I'm, ble I'm blessed, bro. I'm blessed. Now, <clears throat> Cheetah, you know what I'm saying, the East Side Demo, you would hear Cheetah name every single week. At the age of five, this was your first time playing football, and you man. said the first day ever was Scooter Roo picking you up. You know what I'm saying? Y'all stop at a liquor store. You thinking you coming to chill. But Scooter Roo had different plans. Y'all get up right. to Jeff, he kick you out there, bro. Come on. You got to get to it. Man. Now, um, I had nothing to do but to get to it. <laughs> you had to get straight to Life it. Life had to start right there. Right, and that's when Cheetah was born. Man. So take us back to the very moment that your name was Cheetah. That coach was like, oh, that's Cheetah right there. Take us back to that moment that very day. All right. Uh, that day, man, it was, it was that practice. Yeah. Demo practice, you know how they go. Very high competitive, mm -hmm. not taking nothing off nobody. Everybody going at it. Mm -hmm. So boom, they throw me in there. Oh, you the new guy? Uh, yeah. Throw him in the mix. See what yeah. he can do. Yeah. They say Cheetah. Can you? They they before Cheetah. They yeah. say Daquan. They say yeah, Daquan. Yeah, yeah. They say Daquan. Can you throw a ball? I mm -hmm. said Nah, I can't throw, coach. He said Can you catch a ball? I said My catching is probably not. Too much there. I'm usually running the ball. Yeah, 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 give me yeah, the ball. Yeah, yeah, just give yeah, me yeah. the ball. Yeah. And it's like I'm not trying to be cocky, but I'm just like, give me the ball. Mm -hmm. He like, okay, boom. We're gonna give you the ball. You're gonna go against these guys. We'll, we'll be ready. I'm mm -hmm. ready. Boom. Mm -hmm. It's the starting defense we're going against. Mm -hmm. I get the ball. Boom. I go through the hole. Go through the three hole. I bounce it to the five hole. Cause I see the three hole is clogged up. We had guys. Mm -hmm. Boom, bounce it, I cut back immediately. Boom. As soon as I get hit, I, I, I get hit immediately. Boom, off my feet. Like a crackback. Yeah. Corey Butler, he smashed me. I said, uh. The whole practice, I, you know one of them hits, you get hit yeah, so you get hard, hit, you everybody get react. up so yeah, fast. Yeah, 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 I got yeah. up so fast, like somebody knocked me out. Like, uh, yeah. Got up. I'm like, uh, okay, yeah. Everybody turn here. Yeah. So I'm like, I'm still with my guys. Yeah. I'm like, okay. I can I can do this. If mm -hmm. that's gonna be the hardest hit. Mm -hmm. The coach like, all right, Cheetah. I know he not not Cheetah at the point. He he, he wanna see where my yeah, heart at. Yeah, 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 yeah. Boom. He, he throw me at flanker, he throw me at slot, he wanna move me around, he see my speed. Mm -hmm. He said, You can't do all this other stuff, you can't pass, catch pass all that, we're gonna run you. Mm -hmm. Give me a toss to the outside, boom, next play. Take it to the house. Take it to the house. Everybody know what that means. Yeah. Take it to the house. Next play. Yeah. He like, uh, the third play come. I can't wait to get the ball. <laughs> so I'm leaning. I'm in my stance as a running back. Everybody know. Yeah. I'm leaning. Yeah. I'm, I jumped the snap count twice in yeah. a row. Yeah. The coach had started to play over twice in a row. He said, Damn, stop cheating. Yeah. You a cheater cat. I'm gonna call you cheater cat. Yeah, oh, okay. You one of them cheating cats. He said some East Side shit. He said, Yeah. You one of them cheating cats. I'm gonna yeah. call you cheater cat. Yeah. You cheating. You you hungry. Yeah. I said, All right. I ain't even say nothing about all right. Mm -hmm. I said, All right, in my head. All right, boom. Let's get to it. Boom. I'm breaking. I'm still doing my thing, getting my little six, seven yards of pop. After the practice, they call me cheater cat. Just they like said, that. You cheater cat. Because mm -hmm. you you cheating to get to where you want to go because you want to do this shit. Yeah. But you fast like a cat. You fast. You the fastest ah, on the team. That's crazy. So you, <laughs> you, you, you fast like a cheater, but you got reactions like a cat. Mm -hmm. Because Corey swiped my ass off the screen yeah. when he blasted me. <laughs> so now I'm looking. I'm on some. Yeah. I'm running quick. So yeah. he like, I'm going to call you Cheetah Cat. Everybody accepted me after the practice. They said, you earned it. Yeah. Cheetah Cat. Everybody pat me on the helmet. Oh, man. Cheetah Cat. There it man. is. If that wasn't one of the biggest names around the demos, especially at the time I was there, uh, like I said, Cheetah Cat rang bells. One of, the, one, of the, one of the most biggest memories I got of Cheetah Cat was when we pulled up, we was playing against Snoop Dogg at, up, up, in, uh, <laughs> up in Diamond Bar. Yeah. Man, all I heard, Cheetah Cat taking the pump back. Cheetah's still running. Oh, we juke the next person. I'm like, dang, Cheetah lighting the stadium up. This is a real East Side demo legend right here. You know what I mean? This is what y'all had. You know what I'm saying? Now, all right, 
That's what they wanted to hear, man. Hey, from look, the great. facts. Now, Cheetah got death rolled into going into fa- uh, 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 going into the South Bay Falcons. Y'all you know I mean I look up Cheetah at the Falcons now. Okay, now why you being at the Falcons? We're gonna get into. They went. They won a three peat. They won all the championships when Cheetah got there. But when you went there, did you ever miss anything about playing for the demos, or was you just kind of like I'm, I'm straight? You know. Honestly, honestly, what what they took from me with the demos, mm-hmm. where they won me over, was the team camaraderie. Okay, camaraderie. It was like. Mm, we we it's it's a family it's a team mm-hmm. everybody got your back and everybody is doing just as much as you mm-hmm. that boosted me to go with, with them because mm-hmm. it was like everybody on the same page as me mm-hmm. okay it's cool that's all I ever wanted okay so it was like a different mindset right okay okay Way now, different mindset now um I remember Cheetah came to Webster Middle School with us and yeah. I remember Cheetah fitting right in, right? Now, me personally, I'm like, Cheetah's small. Like, we used to really play tackle football, like, for real, right. like, in a real way. And I'm like, Cheetah's small. He ain't gonna play with us. Cheetah came out there, bro, and it was like nothing phased him. He out there doing the same exact thing he doing against the kids he play against. And that's when I understood that Cheetah had heart. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't necessarily he was just talented. Cheetah had heart. Now, what I want to ask you is, where do you feel you get that sense of fearlessness from? Where do you think you get that big heart from? I feel like being thrown in the fire, mm-hmm. being thrown in the fire. Like, imagine you never played football. Imagine you never played anything, mm-hmm. and somebody throw you in the fire. Yeah, facts. You're gonna be like, oh shit, get the- yeah, 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 get it off of me. Yeah, yeah. I want to be one of them mm-hmm. where they ain't throwing fire on them. Why they throwing fire on me? Right. Boom. It, it took it like that. My pops, he dropped me off at practice, and he'd go do his thing. Mm-hmm. He he was a hustler. He was savage with the hustling mm-hmm. he was in love with the money i was in love with, with the thrill the fun of what he was bringing me boom i was i'm finna have the most fun i can have out here okay. i don't give a, i don't give a care if i get fucked up i don't care if anybody get fucked up it's all love and game mm-hmm. that's, that's how i felt good. and it was like i could trust you it ain't no fear mm-hmm. jojo might hit me the hardest i ever got hit mm-hmm. but that's you you doing you i, I respect it mm-hmm. move on Mm-hmm. No, no thoughts of being animosity towards this person. This person, we all just out here trying to make it. Mm-hmm. I feel that. I feel fearless. That. Yeah, I feel you that. Gotta you gotta fearless. be fearless. You gotta have a big heart out here. If you ain't got no heart, man, you're gonna get ate up and chewed out, spit up, everything. Man. So, uh, for some time, pops was gone, and you know, you spoke on your pops being the reason why you went so hard. Right. And initially, you know, you went to Wes Adams. For his ninth grade year, a lot of y'all might not know that. Cheetah went to West Saddles first over there with Coach Poncho, booing all them. And right. then when Pops came home, you said Pops sent you to Dorsey. Right. Um, how was that transition for you, you know what I'm saying, going from West Adams to Dorsey? Uh, it, it, it was tough because mm-hmm. all, my, all my guys I grew up with, with the demos, mm-hmm. going back to that, they still accepted me. Mm-hmm. And when I got, it felt like when I was at West Adams, I was back with the demos. Yeah. Back fitting in, back fitting in, yeah. which is where I left because I didn't want to fit in. Mm-hmm. But I was back with my guys that I started with. So it was cool. First year we went 10-0, and undefeated. I did my thing. I had about 9, 10 touchdowns. I was starting both ways. It was cool. So y'all went undefeated in West Adams? Yeah, it was, oh, was, it, it, it was okay. definitely cool. Yeah. It was definitely cool. Jeezy okay. Obama was, was my right-hand man yeah. through the whole process, mm-hmm. through the mm-hmm. whole process. Mm-hmm. Said, come here. It's gonna be good. We're gonna we're gonna take you there. Yeah. Whatever the case, we are gonna go through it together, yeah. like we've been doing. Yeah. Doing. So it was just like, it was tough. But when my pops got out, he had more of a bigger vision for me. Mm-hmm. And the bigger vision for me was Dorsey. Okay. Be around more competitive spirits. Mm-hmm. Being around more people that was trying to get to the NFL. Mm-hmm. And he knew I was trying to get there, so it was no hesitation with that. He immediately pulled me from West Adams and told me I'm not about to be no fit in guy mm-hmm. and we finna get it in that door so you gonna stand alone. Mm-hmm. You gonna see how you do within these wolves and that's what happened. Okay, okay. Now how happy were you, you know, to have Pops around in your life? Um, because we know that he was a big part of dealing with the recruit and you know keeping your mind right. How Definitely. grateful are you to have had Pops around? Definitely grateful. Mm-hmm. Definitely grateful because I see how I feel to not have pops right there for decisions, yeah. good and the bad. I can. I'm already a quiet person. I don't want to really bring nobody into my decisions I make. Mm-hmm. 
but having him take lead in my decisions was was better actually than me leading myself okay. at a time because it was like I, I didn't have no guidance out there. I would have fit in. Mm -hmm. I was fitting in perfectly. I was a great role player. Mm -hmm. I was great. Mm -hmm. But when I got to Dorsey, I seen role player wasn't for me. Mm -hmm. It wasn't for me. I have to stand out. I have to be that guy mm -hmm. to make this team better. Mm -hmm. If I be average, we're just going to be average. And he made me notice that about changing the whole location and transferring from West Adams to Dorsey. Okay. That's what it took. Mm -hmm. It hurt a lot of people. It hurt me in the inside. Because mm -hmm. I didn't know nobody at Dorsey and I couldn't hang with people like that. But once people got to know me and see my personality, it was over with. I feel that. Okay, now, this is a big time, right? Big time high school recruit right here. Cheetah was a, is a Dorsey legend. Let me not yeah. skip. Let me not forget to say that. Dorsey legend right here. Now, check this out. Appreciate it. High that. school accolades. No, man, off top. High school <laughs> accolades. He was a three star athlete by ES, rated by ESPN, an All American. He was ranked number 30, the number 33 cornerback in the entire nation, the number 55 prospect in, in, in the state of California uh, by rivals.com. And in the Cal State All American game, you were the most outstanding defensive player. Now, a lot of people really don't understand it, the, 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 what this means. Like, this is a big time dude right here, like really big time dude. Now, um, did you ever pay attention to any of these accolades? And at some point, did it mean anything to you? I think for me, it never meant nothing to me okay. until, until we all got on the same playing field. Okay. Three star, two star, four star, no stars. Mm -hmm. Five star, six star, I don't care what you can rank nobody. Mm -hmm. If, if it's a five-star player in front of me and I'm a three-star, I'm finna play five-star. Right, yeah, facts, facts. It never meant nothing to me because mm -hmm. you know how we compete. Mm -hmm. It's nothing, mm -hmm. it's nothing, it's nothing. He ain't, when I line up across somebody, I think you gonna have to show me something I ain't never seen before. Right, it's that fearlessness. You yeah. gonna have to show me something I ain't never seen before, mm -hmm. which means you gonna have to run me over, you gonna have to juke me, you gonna have to do, you gonna do something. Mm -hmm. But my skill set is fit for all of that. Yeah. That's why I like corner, Playing cornerback was the perfect position for me, uh -huh. which I didn't know because I hated defense. Uh -huh. Oh, you hated I hated defense? secondary. I hated being in the secondary because I wanted to be right oh, there. Oh, you just wanted to get the ball. Being a linebacker, yeah, yeah, I wanted yeah. to be right there. Yeah. I played linebacker my whole life. Oh, so you wanted to play linebacker at that Line, point. I'm a linebacker at corner. That's crazy. Maybe that's hey, well, maybe that's why he's such a dog. Because, man, if you see the way he be tackling people, I mean, he be, man, for real, really getting into him like he is a linebacker. Man. Now, um, you know, sometimes people get these accolades and they kind of, it kind of distracts them from everything. So right. how did you, you know, how did you stay focused? Or when did you even catch when, you know, I'm the number 33 cornerback in the nation? How did you stay focused with all that? The thing is, like, for me, I, I peep the articles. Yeah. I, I see it. Yeah. We from where we from, so it's like you can only get better. Yeah, I couldn't believe I was ranked. Yeah, that's it's big. hard. It's yeah, hard. That's big. Yeah, facts. Definitely being ranked the number thirty-three cornerback in the nation is hard. Yeah, that's big as hell. But it ain't high enough. It okay. ain't high enough for okay. me. Oh, y'all ain't seen me enough. Mm -hmm. Let me show you. Let me get around these five stars. Let me show you. Mm -hmm. So that's why I said after the All American game, they gave me that four star. Mm -hmm. I started getting more offers. I started getting the offers that. Mm -hmm. I, I started getting those offers that was attractive yeah. to me. Yeah, we but that's when I started noticing mm -hmm. them offers is attractive to me, but they're coming late. Mm -hmm. They're seeing it late. Mm -hmm. I looked at Washington State. They took the chance on me. They mm -hmm. offered me quick. Mm -hmm. Oh, he got it. He got it all. Yeah. He got what we need. He's a corner. Yeah. I wasn't still sold on corner. Mm -hmm. I wanted to be a safety. Mm -hmm. I like hitting. I like hitting. You know how we, we yeah. like hitting. Yeah. So it was like... I never really took into the politics into like that because mm -hmm. that ain't where we from. I feel you. I feel that. I feel that. That ain't where we from. Yeah. And you now, have to show me. Yeah. And now, and now, in high school, you get seven offers. You know what I'm saying? U Dub, ASU, San Jose, Boise, California, UCLA, Washington State, of course. Uh, mm -hmm. When did you realize that you know what this is really getting real? I'm getting scholarships. Like, when did you realize that? I'm one of them guys that's. Um, my my vision is precise, mm -hmm. so it's like. As soon as I got Washington State offer, as soon as I got that offer, I was. You committed right there? No, I didn't commit. Oh. I was. It's real now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's real. It's over yeah. with. Yeah. The cake that been baked, they gonna have to come with it. Mm -hmm. It's over with. Mm -hmm. I got an offer. I know they finna start rolling in. Mm -hmm. Boom. That's when I noticed. 
That's what I noticed. Cause uh, when I was in tenth grade, mm -hmm. I had a um, little pre-visit with Washington State. They was coming up to vi visit Jeremiah Allison Ocho. Mm -hmm. Yeah, come to visit Ocho. him. Yeah, shout out Ocho. He was. Uh, they was coming to visit him, but while they were visiting him, the basketball coach slid me in the gym like, "Hey, go talk to them too." Yeah. Even the basketball coach at our school like, "You yeah. got some. Yeah. I want to make you our starting point guard on some." Oh, so you were playing basketball? Too? Yeah. Okay. He was like, I want a Patrick Beverly type. I know why they want you. You yeah. got that attitude like, yeah. to, to lock shit down. Yeah. And that's what it was. They slid me in there. I talked to them. They sized me up. They talked to me a little bit. Mm -hmm. After they offered me, I was like, okay, it's real. Mm -hmm. Now I see how colleges do. Mm -hmm. They okay. just wanted to see me prove it. Mm -hmm. After that, I knew. Mm -hmm. So what? So what made you, you know, out of these offers, what made you go ahead and choose Washington State? Uh, I chose Washington State over a lot of different schools. Yeah, that was that was pulling me here yeah. and there. It was just more about family vibes for me. Yeah, like I keep reverting back to we family. Yeah. Like yeah, I gotta, yeah. I gotta have a solid standpoint. I gotta have something to stand on. I know you, my brother. Mm -hmm. You, my brother. Uh, I'll go to work for you. Mm -hmm. I don't care what it is. I don't care if it's rock paper scissors. You, my brother. You got my back. You got my back. Uh, it is. Right. It is what it is. Mm -hmm. They the first one to take it. We don't, we don't gotta look at all these other ones. Mm -hmm. They were the first one to be like, okay, he. And that's what, yeah, I got we you. We need him, yeah, yeah, we need yeah, him. Yeah, other yeah. teams wanted me, they yeah. needed me. Yeah. So it was a difference. Mm, that's crazy. So as a true freshman. And I didn't want to be on the team with a bunch of all-stars and be like, I'm playing with all these all-stars. Yeah, 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 no, yeah. No, I want to play against you. Yeah, yeah. I want to play I against you. I feel that, that's wanna, a different I want to take it from you. Mm -hmm. I want to show you I'm, I'm separate. Mm -hmm. That's I understand that. I understand that now as a freshman, Pride. as a freshman, you balled out. I mean, a right. freshman All-American, uh, you, you made your first start against USC, and you led the team in tackles that night with 10 tackles. Um, then you balled out against Stanford, who was number five at that time. You recorded another 10 tackles. Then you balled out against Oregon, who was number two, with D. Black, Marcus Mariota. Uh, uh, they were loaded, and mm -hmm. you out here going crazy. You started, you would end up starting four games your freshman year. And you played in all 13. Now, um, you had to work for all of these opportunities, though, especially right. coming in as a freshman on such a high level. Right. When you look back, how big was it for you to be starting against USC and for that to be your first start right here at home? It's, it's big. Mm -hmm. It's big because of the pedestal it goes to. It, yeah. don't, it, it, don't, it ain't just about me starting. Mm -hmm. It's, I feel like when I was starting, I'm starting for everybody that know me. Mm -hmm. I'm starting. I'm going against USC. Mm -hmm. This is USC. This is the school all of us want to go to. Right. This is all of the school that we know we're going to go to if we make the straight up. Mm -hmm. I'm playing against them. Mm -hmm. Even though I told the interview after the game, I wanted to stay home and play. Yeah. But then I had to switch up what I said. Yeah, I seen that. <laughs> he had to switch it up. <laughs> I, I said, hold on, yeah, yeah, they're going to yeah. try to bleed yeah, me if I say that. Oh, man, they're going to put it all over Google. Yeah, I yeah, said, yeah, nah, yeah. I didn't, I, I didn't want to stay home and play. Nah, I would love to play here, but I think me playing against them here mm -hmm. made it bigger mm -hmm. for everybody to see. Mm -hmm. We can be bigger than USC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We way bigger than yeah, USC. Flash, 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 yeah, yeah. Fuck is USC. They selling us short because they know we're going to commit if we come here and get mm -hmm. the offer. USC didn't offer me in high school. Lane Kiffin came to my school, literally came up to Dorsey and recorded me for four days, the whole week of practice. Mm. Had his DB coach out there and all that, Marvin Sanders. Mm. Four days recording me, and they did not offer me. So when they didn't offer me, I, I took it personal. Okay. Okay, okay. Get, him out, get him up out of here. Get yeah. Lane Kiffin up out of here. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Hey, hey, Dorsey, you know we got goons. Yeah. Hey, get him up out of here. Get him up out of here. He ain't offering me. Yeah. It's good. We're going to see him when we see him. Yeah. No pressure. Mm. I want to play against these guys now. Mm -hmm. And that's how I took it. Mm. Took that personal. That's I took crazy. it personal. Yeah. So when I see USC again, yeah. it's over. That's, and that's what deep. happened. That's they didn't deep. score a point. They didn't score a touchdown. Yeah, you the was quarterback had to rush stuff up. Yeah. It was I mean, that. It, it was I that. know it was a big deal going against Marquise Lee for you. It was like a whole bunch of hype going on. It, you feel me? It was a lot of hype. It was a lot of hype because Marquise was coming off. He had a bullet. He was the bullet in the coffee. He was the best receiver in the nation. Yeah. They was talking about how oh y'all got a freshman starting and freshman can't cover me and all this this and that. 
Yeah, you still. We ain't worried about there. names yeah. and numbers, and we gonna play football mm -hmm. straight up. Mm -hmm. And that's why before the game, I came out and gave my team mm -hmm. a talk that only my team know about. Mm -hmm. Hey, they looking like they satisfied. They yeah. looking like they won the game already yeah. before the game. Yeah, they got us fucked up. On God, they got us fucked up. Yeah. and that's what it took for me to go to Wazoo for them to wake up. Mm. Yeah, we better than that. Mm. I'm gonna set that shit. That's crazy, yeah. See, Cheetah got that mindset, you know what I mean? If you play for the demos and you understand what that mindset was, right. and only we had. You feel, you I, don't think, I don't think nobody else had that type of mindset, you know what I mean? Now, um, how big was it being able to play against Jadon, you know, play, playing mm. against D Black? You know what I'm saying? You're playing against Man. a lot of your childhood friends at this level. I mean, it's cool uh, playing against them in high school, but at this level, y'all y'all going to the league now, so how big was that? And I actually, if you want to watch his highlight tape, Cheetah got a nice little tackle on Jay Don. He took them legs out, man. I man. mean, come on now. It was like no respect there. Even though you know him, you was trying to kill shot him. But how was that whole situation playing? Jay Don was trying to disrespect me, too. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. And I was, I was yeah. trying to disrespect him, too. <laughs> we love each other to yeah, death. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's how we on the field. It's mm -hmm. just how we is. Yeah, like, you got to be like that. Like, yeah. Jay Don, we just had Dorsey. Yeah. Every day I was just thinking you one on one. I was every day for the whole year. Nobody mm -hmm. wanted to stick you. I did, though. Mm -hmm. I did, though, and I did. Mm -hmm. I got burnt by you a lot, but I got I got better by that. Facts. That's how you get better. You I got better by that. I took that. I took that talent. Nobody wanted that. Yeah. I swear to God, ask Jay Don. Nobody wanted to stick him mm -hmm. senior because he was a guy. Mm -hmm. I want to be a guy. Mm -hmm. Who could I go against? Jay Don said, go against me every day. I don't mm -hmm. give a fuck what the fuck the game. Dang, so boom, tight. first time I see Jay Don in college, I'm not even that corner. They said, Cheetah, you have to play nickel this game. You have to stick number four. I said, oh, I go to scouting man. report. I go to scouting report. Then I make his number four. Yeah. Damn, I gotta <laughs> take the same dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All yeah. right, let's go, let's yeah. go. Cause I'm yeah. the only one that's gonna match his energy. Come on, let's go. Yeah. They don't come in at third down, first third down in the game. I come in. Mm -hmm. What's up? I'm in front of you. What's up? Mm -hmm. I'm mixing it up. I'm backing up, coming up, backing up, coming up. I didn't disguise it. The whole yeah. quarterback on some. He don't know what to do, he on some audible, quarterback draw. So Jay Don come off the line. Fancy. Boom, try to dip on me on some DDP Dorsey type thing. Try to dip on me. Boom, I yeah. said, oh shit. Boom, yeah. right back on some Dorsey shit. Boom, bang yeah. right back. Uh -uh. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. Now we squabbling, we really squabbling. We what? It got like that? Mm. It's, a, it's a run play. Yeah. You got a block. Hold on, we might as well just get ours out the way. Yeah. First play. Oh, this is gonna be a long game. You already know. Ooh, he had to set the tempo in the like slot. that. Yeah, I'm in man. Yeah, I'm in straight man. That's all I played was man. Mm. So I'm like, you gotta stick him because he run a lot of freaky shit. It is yeah, what it is. Know, he, That's yeah, my yeah, brother yeah, to this yeah, day. Yeah, Jadon, get Jadon gonna get juicy on you, man. Man, man. So, um, well, now this whole natural talent thing, you know, and this is some things that I'm gonna call it natural talent syndrome. Right. Um, at Wazoo, you balling. You know what I'm saying. You and you understood at that point in time. You said that was the point in time in your life you understood. I'm gonna have to work harder, and it's not gonna only be just because of my talent. It's time for me to put in more work. So, right. what moment was that that actually led you to really realize that and pay attention to it and start to work harder? It was. It was like I think it was in practice. I think it was in practice for me because it's like. Every day I'm going against a team, my team, we the air raid, I'm going against Mike Leach's offense. Mm -hmm. This is Mike Leach's offense, which is putting up numbers every day. Even in practice, they putting up 500, 600 yards. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I'm going against them every day. I'm going against tall receivers, short receivers, small receivers, swole receivers. It don't matter, I want it all. Mm -hmm. But I'm going against them and I'm seeing how they start taking it easy, see the balling. Cheetah, don't hit me this hard on this, but I'm nah, getting yeah. That's when I said, okay. I went from not starting at all mm -hmm. to, yeah, I'm bullying y'all. Oh, I'm bullying y'all. I'm finna really bully y'all. I'm yeah. finna play bully ball. Yeah. And I'm finna bring my dudes along with me, the other DBs. They're gonna bully y'all too. Mm -hmm. But that's when they start going after other DBs. That's how they get their confidence up. They didn't. I already broke their confidence. Dang, I get that. I get that. It's crazy because confidence. in a sense, when you because we call it brother-in-law, when you kind of brother-in-law, don't nobody get better like that. Nah, hell you no. Feel me? But that's that natural talent stuff. You just, I can't. I can't do. Yeah. We play for demos. We gotta go hard. Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't, every day. Every yeah. day. Every minute. Right. I don't care if you whoop my ass a hundred times. Right. 
Whoop my I mean, ass yeah, it's kind of like I'm gonna get a hundred times better. But you whoop my ass because yeah. I thought I could whoop you. Yeah, and it's kind of like I, I mean, I might as well I might as well take these losses against you because I'm gonna get better like that. Right. Compared to uh, we both soft and we not helping each other out. Right. And that, that's crazy. That's another thing I realized. That's why we changed the whole atmosphere of yeah. Washington State. My class. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Tough. We tough now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. You got to turn up. Yeah, no, I'm, hit, I'm, I'm hitting quarterbacks. He's not mm-hmm. slide. I'm mm-hmm. doing all that. A receiver. Yeah, I'm, no, I seen I'm that. I'm sideline yeah. popping yeah. every receiver. Yeah. I'm stripping you after the play. I'm doing right. all that. Right. I'm doing all I that. I saw. So I got to get ready yeah. for the game. I'm a freshman. Right. So I don't care if y'all not ready. You got to go hard like that, especially as a freshman. You're trying to, you're trying to play. Right. You feel me? Now, Tyron Matthew is one of your biggest influences. No what, question. What about... Tyron Matthew, what you just described, of course, got to be it. But what about Tyron Matthew made you? Speak a lot on You him. feel me? What, what about that made you really, really like, man, I love this dude. I love the way he play. And what have you picked up in your game that you took from him? Passion. Mm-hmm. Passion. That's the one thing we both got for this month. And I didn't talk to Tyron on the phone. Mm-hmm. The passion, the passion is like, it go a long way. It make if you got passion, it's gonna make everybody you play with gonna wanna play for you. They wanna yeah. Passion. You can't win that over with talent. It's yeah. passion, it's heart. Yeah. Like you said, you got heart. Mm-hmm. So it was time I'm I'm feeling like Tyran out there. I'm like, damn, if yeah. if y'all don't get no pass rush, how y'all supposed to expect me to I need y'all. Yeah. I gotta give y'all the speech now. Yeah. We not finna lose this game. We yeah. down 24 zero. We not finna lose. Right. I'm telling y'all, we're not finna lose. So, mm-hmm. I'm playing hard as fuck. So, yeah. boom, it's a timeout. Now we up 24-10. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm still going into the fourth quarter. I'm still high energy, all that. Yeah. It, it you know, the uh, commercial timeouts. Yeah, yeah. I'm rapping during the. I'm. Mm, 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 they mm-hmm. playing their band. Yeah. Me and Cache Palacio, we rapping to the band. The coach is like, Cheetah, what you say? I yeah. said, We finna win this bitch in this, uh, we finna win this bitch. Yeah. You feel me? They like, yeah. okay. <laughs> Hey, we running all man. Come on. Oh man, that was your thing, man. Like, Passion. Yeah. I took that from Tyrant. I love that shit. I yeah. love that shit. Tyrant taught me a lot. Cause mm-hmm. one of my uh teammates, Dayon Buchanan, went first round and played with Tyrant. Right, right. And he had Tyrant get on the phone with me when I was going through a depression. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Tyrant told that, me, yeah. he said, It's about what you learn from this shit. Mm-hmm. It's about how you apply what you learn to this shit. From what you're going through, not this shit, but the turmoil and yeah. stuff that God put us through. Mm-hmm. It's about what you learn from it and how you move forward. Mm-hmm. That's gonna take you a long yeah, way. A fact. I already that's see your character. We already see Tyran character. He's a good guy mm-hmm. outside of football. I'm the same way. Yeah, it's just that passion on the field. They mis misconstrued us yeah. for different people than when we is off the field. Mm-hmm. You gotta tone it down. You gotta channel it and learn from what they saying and apply it. Mm. All it is. Yeah, that's a you fact. can bounce back from anything as long as you do that. That's, that's why I'm fact. still balling to this day. Tyran told me that's one of my biggest inspirations. Mm. That's a fact right there. Now bad habits. You know we spoke on some things before, and you said you know you had you were a young dude. You had a fun night. You probably didn't get the most sleep this night, and mm-hmm. you show up to the game the next day and you ball out. And so what you said was this created a bad habit for me because I was getting away with it and I'm still balling. Right. But what some people gotta really understand because they for can't the next do that. right, for the next young man that that's gonna be in this same situation. You a young dude, you gotta live your life, you gotta have fun, but you gotta be responsible. Um, and then what you said was it will eventually catch up to you. Right. And like we said, everybody can't do that. So Cheetah speaking to a young cheetah back then, what would you suggest? as far as being responsible, as far as doing the things that you do, what would you suggest to that guy back then? If you could do anything differently. The young cheater is, yeah. cause I live life with no regrets. Yeah, yeah. Sure. So that's number one. Yeah. So it's like, what you could have did if I had to look at regrets, mm-hmm. is be more responsible, bro. Mm-hmm. Be more consistent. Mm-hmm. Be, be that guy that they wanted you to be. Mm-hmm. Even if you had to fake it. My problem is I couldn't fake it. I can't fake it with this game. Yeah, I don't absolutely. care if I was to even never go to the NFL. Mm-hmm. I still paved the way for a lot of people that's like me. Mm-hmm. That's not fake. I can't fake it. I want to get there. That's my dream job. I want to get there so bad. Mm-hmm. But it's you have to do things to get there. You have to clean up your image to get there. You have mm-hmm. to do that. You have to be mature. You have to be responsible. You have to be that even as soon as you step on campus. Yeah. 
because they will speak about that. I done been in the room with NFL coaches. I done been in the room with, as a freshman, I'm in there with NFL coaches, talk, with my DB coach, this same table. I'm in there with the Steelers, they on the other side, Falcons, Eagles. I'm hearing the coach, he telling all the negatives about the players. Mm. They want the players. They yeah. telling them all the negatives. Yeah. I'm like, damn. I mean, but do, is I'm that a part of their job, like I'm doing though? homework. I'm acting like I'm doing homework, yeah. but they got to be real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They Especially money, at that they, level. They, line, yeah. they job and they line and yeah. their name is on the money. Yeah. It's, on, it's, it's on record. Right. They like, this guy, he might not work as hard, but he's a dog. Yeah. This guy, he, he, he'll give you all mm. he got. He's just his size is not there. Yeah. He'll fight to the end. Yeah. That's what they say about D linemen. Yeah. And all the D linemen was my guys because they was giving me pressure for me yeah. to work. Yeah. So I'm hearing him. He, oh, this safety, he's slow. He has no feet where he can't cover it, but he'll come down and hit. Oh, boom, boom, boom. I'm hearing them yeah. saying the most negative Ooh. stuff they could possibly say. Yeah. And it ain't about me. Yeah. So I'm like, damn. What could I do, literally, for somebody that been in the room with these folks? Yeah. Clean that image up. Yeah. Clean that up. Yeah, yeah. Because these folks is watching and they telling and they they telling mm -hmm. and they're telling the real too. Mm -hmm. So if you ball and you do have flaws, they they tell both sides. Yeah. And that's what's gonna help you get there. But for me, I would say consistency. Mm -hmm. Consistency. Dang, that's crazy. I was, so, I was definitely consistent, yeah. but off the field I wasn't consistent. Right. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, they didn't like that I didn't factor myself in with the team off the field. Okay. They couldn't understand me. They couldn't get a read on me. Yeah. They were like, what is he, where is he at? What is he doing? What is he, uh, mm -hmm. why is he in the newspaper? Why is he on billboards? Yeah. Why is he doing this? Yeah. Why, why? People wanted to fuck with me. I'll go out. People want to start a fight with me. Yeah. I couldn't believe it. I didn't even, I, I, why me? Because mm -hmm. you know I'm going to fight back. I'm yeah. never going to get disrespected. We're from Los Angeles, California. Yeah. That's all I have to say about that. Right. People were trying to start stuff with me, boom. I got into a fight with somebody, boom. They take my whole billboard off. Mm. Yeah. I ball out the whole season. Yeah. They put my billboard back up. Yeah. I get into something else. They take it down. My coach oh, tell me, wow. Cheetah, why you think they doing that? Yeah. They playing with you. They want to see if you, what you what you want to do, what you want to do. You want to be a square or you want to be a star. Mm -hmm. You can't come in between because you're both. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, damn, it was tough, but I made it through. Mm -hmm. I would say I made it through. Mm -hmm. A lot of people didn't make it through. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. it was tough at that time. Mm -hmm. Coaching and coaches and all the staff that we had, they understood me to the fullest. So that's why when they got to other programs and I got to other programs, they were still reaching out to me, still trying to grab me. Because yeah. they said, see, got a good heart. He never meant none of the bad that he did. Mm -hmm. He just loves football, and yeah. that's why he's going to continue playing. Mm -hmm. It ain't because he loves school. It ain't he went to this school and this school and this school and this school because he loves school. He loves football. Right. And that's what's going to continue to happen for me. I'm not going to stop. Mm -hmm. Now, Cheetah, as a coach, you know what I'm saying, understanding young men the way right. you understand young men hell yeah if you was to ever kind of catch on and understand like, i know you, you i know you're doing a lot what type of words would you have for that young dude or would you just let him get away with it like oh, i'm just gonna let you keep doing it but understanding everything that you even went through what would you suggest to that young dude that you know he a baller he going <laughs> if he get right he going what would you say to him what would you say what would coach cheetah say to young cheetah what would Coach Cheetah say to Young Cheetah? I'd say get right, man, because you got a bright future. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about, like, I'm, I'm, I'm pulling you to the side because I heard something about you. Okay, I'm okay, pulling you yeah. to the side. Speak to, speak to the Young Cheetah as Coach Cheetah. Well, I'm telling you, man. Yeah. Get your mind right because 90% mm -hmm. of the game is mental. 10% mm -hmm. mm -hmm. of it is physical. Mm -hmm. That's what I learned. So I'm telling you, have your mind on the right. Yeah. Not just one play, every play. The next play, make this play, make the next play, make the next play, boom. Worry about everything else after. Uh -huh. Ball, have fun, do your thing. But just don't do it to the disliking of these folks. Uh, yeah, that's the big one. That's don't the big one. Don't do it one, to yeah. the disliking of these yeah, folks. Yeah, yeah. And by these folks, we know what that means. Uh -huh. You get up there and you showing your ass too much, you get the balling too much, uh -huh. 
love and hate go hand in hand. Yeah, so you can't have can't have one without the other. Man, you can't have success without something always. I done seen these yeah. same reporters that love me, mm -hmm. love me. Every it's a coincidence that every after the game, every post game, they're calling me. Mm. Want to hear what he has to say? He has to say. So obviously, what I have to say means something because I don't say much. Mm -hmm. I just ball. Yeah. I talk on the field, and they see it. They like, uh -huh. oh, we want to hear what he's saying. Uh -huh. he, we need to mic him up. Uh -huh. Do your thing, man. Football only going to last so long. It's been a good part of my life. I'm definitely happy and satisfied with what I did in my life. Uh -huh. So get there to the point you satisfied with your life, and you know what you want to do. I'm going to be all there with you still on your side. Mm, I'm going to mm. still be there with you. Right. Even after the football. Right. And that's the coaches that I've been needing now. Yeah. Even after Not the football. A, after the football. Mm -hmm. What's up, Cheetah? We didn't just use you. We still like you. We still yeah. love you. We still mm -hmm. like that character and that person and that persona you gave off to us. Mm -hmm. I done been coached by coaches that coach Antonio Brown, Jadavion Clowney. These these first round picks that's really love me that I've been in the room they I mean, like yeah, you, you are the same talent it. they tell yeah. me you are the same talent couldn't believe it mm -hmm. I couldn't believe it mm -hmm. I mean you didn't play against a lot of NFL players you right. didn't did that Matched you know what I'm saying so it's them. not it's no question that you don't have that it's no question right. at all um, now you know sophomore season you ball out Pac-12 honorable mention led the team in tackles you know what I'm saying and in March second we have this mishap now. Um, what people got to understand too is that you can work hard for years for something and you can right. lose it in a matter of seconds. So Cheetah, if you um, probably didn't understand the seriousness of it, right. okay, but when did you really get it? Like, dang, I could lose everything that I worked for at this point in time of my life. And how were you feeling mentally throughout that whole situation? Like you said, you, you spoke to Tyron Matthew throughout all of that. How was that whole situation for you? Uh, and then seeing what everybody had to say, like you said, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I can go into that. Yeah, I'm saying like, like once I, um, once I definitely got cut from the team, yeah. that's when it hit me immediately. It don't yeah, take yeah. us long. Yeah. Oh, I can't tell my parents. Yeah. Oh, I can't. I gotta figure it out immediately. Yeah. Yeah. I'm on the phone with coaches. I'm on the phone with coaches from different schools. Yeah. I'm on the, I'm, I'm on the phone. I'm. What could I do? I, I can't I can't go home and tell my parents I got kicked out for smoking some weed. Uh -huh. Or I get kicked out for I was probation for beating a nigga up. Uh -huh. They like that's nigga shit. Yeah. That's nigga shit. Why you out there doing nigga shit? Yeah. Even though you in a world full of people that would make you wanna do that. Uh -huh. I couldn't believe it, but I didn't have that guidance. I didn't have that guidance. I didn't have that big bro that was right there to be like, Don't do that, don't uh -huh. do this, don't do this, this Even if it was, I was still making my own decisions because we are we, we right. who we is. Right, right. I didn't get into too many shits that I didn't need to get into. Mm -hmm. I can say that. Everything that I went through, I handled it like a man, and it, it was it was that. Mm -hmm. But after I got cut, not even cut, because they didn't pub publicize it. Mm -hmm. Mike Leach loved me that much. He like, he just violated team rules. I was on probation. After I ended up getting into a fight my freshman year, they put me on probation for beating somebody up uh -huh. on campus that tested me, a big dude, your size, big yeah, dude. Yeah. Okay, you trying to test me while I'm in the party, I'm going to squabble with you. Okay, boom, boom, boom. Yeah. That ended up dropping, boom. Next season come, they put me on probation until 2020 while I was in 2013. Oh I'm in 2013, yeah, bro, made yeah. one mistake. Yeah. Not even a mistake. Made a mistake, but I will not blame nobody for that okay. because I intrigued, I interacted. Mm -hmm. I could have been like, man, such a weird ass up. Mm -hmm. And walked away from it. I could have. Yeah. That was the biggest mistake I could have. Okay. Don't be the tough guy. You yeah. don't got to be the yeah. tough guy in every Let situation. Let you know that because it's, it's a young We're athlete, from Los yeah. Angeles. We're right. always going to uh, mm -hmm. quick. We're going to mm -hmm. flip. Mm -hmm. As soon as somebody make him, somebody... What? And remember that, for real. As soon as somebody say something, yeah. something, hey, Jojo, you mm -hmm. a bitch, mm -hmm. you going to react. Mm -hmm. Stop it. I ain't from mm -hmm. I don't play like that, bro. Yeah. I, don't, I don't do that. That's it. Boom, I reacted. Uh, whooped his feet. Boom, now they put me on probation to 2020 just from throwing one punch. Mm -hmm. 
One punch yeah. changed my whole life. Mm. Yeah, just that. So just that you don't gotta thing. always be the tough guy in situations. You mm -hmm. can walk away from it, mm -hmm. and now I do walk away from shit like that. Mm -hmm. You had to learn that the hard way, you know. And, and I, I and know what I'm capable goal. of. I know yeah. my worth. Yeah. I know my worth. Yeah, yeah. and I'm that's like, what's most important. I'm a walking million dollar bill. Yeah. What I gotta be? They don't know where I came from. They don't Fact. know my struggle. I can't yeah. let them get to me, yeah. even though I did. Mm -hmm. It made me stronger. It made you stronger. Made you smarter. Every loss is a yeah. win. Yeah. And that's what ultimately prepared you to be where you are today. Right. Um, now, still balling. Right. Still and happy. At the end of the day, can't nobody take my happiness. Can't facts. nobody take my education away. I'm mm -hmm. degreed up. Exactly. I'm living life. Exactly. My family's happy. Mm -hmm. We well taken care of. Mm -hmm. It's good. Right. And at the end of the day, you ultimately committed. You completed your whole college career. Got yourself a degree. We're going to clap it up for that. Yeah, man. Young Cheetah got his degree. Um, I had to, man. I man, had to. I hate school, but I had to. He had to get that. You know what I'm saying? So y'all make, sure make sure y'all know that now. You Shout out to Team Nike, man. Yeah. Sponsoring me on this good interview, man. <laughs> Shout out Nike for that. You we did. still got our contract going, yeah. man. We're not going to stop to 2022. They might fire me after 2022. Oh, no. Nah, yeah, we'll fire. They will never fire me after the right. way I'm rocking it, man. Look yeah. what we doing. We clapping it up. Yep. Looking good. And also, by the way, shout out to Toes Home Clean. If you ever need a cleanup, you can mm -hmm. hit Toes Home Clean Up. They got you 25% off. If you want to get your house cleaned, you want your event space cleaned up, Toes Home Clean and got you. Tell yes, them sir. Clap It Up LA sent you, and you can get your 25% discount. Anywhere um, you know that's around LA, tell them Clap It Up sent you. Yep. You will be there. They're going to get you. They're going to take care of you. Now, Positive spirits. Yep. Yeah, now, you got the opportunity um, to play at Fresno State. Right. You know what I'm saying? And then you ended up at Southeastern Oklahoma State, Division right. Two. Coming from a Pac-12 Division One school to going to Division Two, uh, what type of reality check was that for you? Ah, I mean, because you know, what's a big difference? The stadium. When, when you love, you know, when you, when you love football, that's when it. That's when it tests me. Do I love football? Oh, really? that's when it tests me. Mm -hmm. do, you, do I love football? Mm -hmm. From going in front of. Playing in front of thousands. Thousands. Yeah, them thousands. and millions at oh, times. Yeah, yeah. We're playing the number one team in the nation, number two in the nation, three team in the nation every week. All over TV. Yeah. To, to go into, I would say, high school stadium. Yeah, facts. Yeah, yeah. It, it, take, it takes a lot. Mm -hmm. All you got to be is focused. Mm -hmm. Focused. All I, all I was there when I was focused. Focused. Laser beam, tunnel vision. I'm starting. I don't care. When my time get the field, I'm starting. I'm getting my grades up. Mm -hmm. I didn't have my grades up at Fresno. Mm -hmm. I'm getting them up. Now, I'm sorry. It's that time. Yeah, you got I want to play again. Yeah. I want to play. Mm -hmm. I can't play without them grades. Mm -hmm. You better know that. You can't play without them grades in college. I couldn't play. Mm -hmm. I could not play. I had a 1.98. I was like, what the fuck? If y'all going to flip that and let me get on that field, Man. I'm leaving. Yeah. And they gonna flip it and make it. Yeah. Got to the next school. They couldn't do it. Cause mm -hmm. transfer rules and certain classes don't transfer over. It is what it is. Yeah. But at the end of the day, I never lost faith. The yeah. reason I'm playing is cause I love football. Mm -hmm. And the reason I love football is cause looking up after you guys yeah. growing up. Demos, it start back from that. Mm -hmm. The first step, mm -hmm. first step. When coaches ask me, why did you go to this school? Why'd you go to this school? Why'd you go to this school? Yeah. When they sit down with me in the NFL rooms and talk to me, I say, because I love football. Yeah. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. For the love of the I ain't man, never man. heard an NFL player say, I love school. Right. It ain't like that. I mean, when we play football. It ain't like that. I love years, school. Yeah. I love the classes I take. Yeah. That's why I schedule them the way I do. Yeah. But at the end of the day, I'm passing these to get to my goal. Right. Well, we played football for so many That's years. That's why I'm glad I did graduate. It's right. over with. Right. With so no money involved. Cake them been back. They're going right. to come with it. <laughs> we played football for so many years with no money involved at all because we love the game and we're that passionate about the game. Right. Um, now, your road to the pros is not for the weak hearted. Y'all might not know, but my boy Cheetah been going through it all in order to get to this point, and he ain't done yet. Um, right. Not done now, at now, all. right? You've been through a whole lot to get to this point. You know, you finished with your degree, and now it's time to get to the next level. And you know, your road to the pros, you say, has been it, it's been required you to be mentally tough. You know, what I'm saying, and for you knowing, and for, for knowing you, you always got this high energy. You keep a smile on your face, got always to. dancing, always cheered up. Got um, to. how Have was fun. how was this process for you 
coming from college to the pros, you know, being so tough for you mentally, how were you able to still keep that high energy, continue to smile in our faces, hit your squabble, and do everything that you do, going through everything that you go through? How do you keep that? I don't know, but I, I mean, the honest answer to that is yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I don't but, know. But I'm going to explain it. But I'm going to explain it. Yeah. It's part of me. Mm -hmm. It's just in my DNA. It's mm -hmm. like, shit, if we didn't play football, we had to survive. We had to make it, right? Mm -hmm. If we was motherfucking slaves on the slave shit like our ancestors and all that, we had to make it, right? right. So, right. shit. I'm just one of them ones that got that high energy. Thank God I'm a Leo and I, I feel like I gotta bring the presence to the room. Mm -hmm. That's that's just how I am. But it ain't arrogant or no cocky shit or nothing like that, but I feel like I got it in me. I feel like I got it in me. Yeah. I can bring it out of you. Well, you gotta be secure. Bring it out of you. You gotta be secure like that. You gotta be securing yourself to know. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I got, a t I got a team of six guys around me. We wanna get rich? Yeah. Y'all quiet, I'm gonna I'm talk. Yeah. I'm gonna, hey, look. You got a lot in you. Yeah. You got a lot in you. Hey, y'all talk it up, man. Yeah. Because we could be something. We clap it up, man. Uh -huh. For us even being here. God brought us here to do something, right? Facts. Boom. That's just how I am. Uh -huh. Like, it's just natural. It's uh -huh. natural. It's always been like that. Uh -huh. From kindergarten to first grade, second grade, third grade, fourth grade, fifth grade. And on up. Uh -huh. That's why my teammates love me. I uh -huh. put that confidence. I steal it in them. Install uh -huh. it in them. Like, uh -huh. like, like, he whooped you on that play, but... You don't think you could whoop him again? You don't think you could whoop him? <laughs> yeah, facts. I done facts, been in so many yeah. situations like that as a big bro, as a as a brother, mm -hmm. that it's like, come on, man. You, at the end of the day, we hustling hard to get money. Right. We mm -hmm. all working for the white man, so mm -hmm. we got to work hard and we got to have fun while we doing it. Because mm -hmm. at a point, it wasn't fun yeah. for our ancestors. So, mm -hmm. hey, it is what it is. Okay, 100, I'm understand. bring that light to the room. Understand, now. I'm going to shake the room every time. Right, you got to. Now, being picked up, by the San Diego Strike Force, you know, playing in only one game because the COVID situation just Man. messed everything up. Um, Killed my whole season. How much did you enjoy being back on the field after everything you went through? Like, at a certain point, your ankle was broke. You know what I'm saying? You had to deal with all of that. And mm -hmm. Now, you finally get back on the field, and it's like an explosion. Cheetah out there balling. Cheetah got an interception. Weren't you like the defensive player of the week that week or something like that? Week one. You got all that. Week. All that out there balling, right? And then... You finally get your opportunity to do it all over again. How was it being on the field for that one game and being able to make noise the way that you did? Uh, you, you ever been in the candy house? Yeah, facts. Yeah. <laughs> you, you ever had more than $5 in the candy house yeah, 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 where you yeah. can get anything you want? Yeah. That's how I feel. Man. Plan. That's the simplest way to I'm finna get everything I want. Mm -hmm. They didn't let the wrong person in this house. Mm -hmm. Cause I live this shit. I love mm -hmm. this. Shit. I breathe this shit. Can't mm -hmm. nobody take that away from me. Mm -hmm. I live, love, sleep, breathe football. Mm -hmm. I love this shit. It's just in me. That's brought my personality to me. Mm -hmm. So it's like you put me at work, basically. Mm -hmm. I'm at work. I'm gonna thrive mm -hmm. every time. Yeah. That's how it was. It's yeah, like it's eat, eat or be eaten. Man, look. At the end of the day, I be looking at nobody like they can't fuck with me. Mm -hmm. And can't everywhere he go. He always making big noise. You can't Man. ignore him. Everywhere he go, he gonna make some noise. So, nice. um, you just signed with the Arizona Rattlers. How excited are you about this opportunity? And man, tell me, tell me. I, I can already imagine, but like, what is he, what, what you thinking about? Like, man, I can't wait to get out there. I can't wait. I can't wait yeah. to do the same thing. Yeah. This is like having a job. You be mm -hmm. an employee, I can't wait to do the same thing. Mm -hmm. This time, I'm more prepared. I'm with a better team. I'm with one of the best teams in the league. Yeah. My team is either in the championship or not. This mm -hmm. championship every year. Mm -hmm. This is more of the team I need to be on. It kind of resigned me back to when I played for the SC Falcons. Yeah. It's like, oh, okay. You got to put that battery in your back again and bring it to this team. We're going to have a championship in September. Yeah. That's how I look they at it. They was going crazy up there, too. I, like I said, you got death We will have a championship in September. I have another ring. Mm -hmm. It don't matter. I'm Get not worried about it right now, mm -hmm. though. That's gonna happen. It's mm -hmm. manifesting. Mm -hmm. for me. Mm -hmm. Now I can't wait though. On another note, I got yeah. I got a whole bunch of. I never played for a team that's orange. A whole bunch. Oh, of, okay, okay. Whole yeah, bunch yeah, of yeah. different cleats, gloves, yeah. all type of freaky stuff. I'm finna look yeah. good. I'm finna look good, and we yeah. finna do it good. Right. I'm coming off a of, uh, surgery on my knee. I'm feeling good. Mm -hmm. I ain't never felt better. Mm -hmm. I want you to doubt me. I kind of thrive off. I kind of feed off this shit. 
It's where we from. It's, it's nothing to us. Mm -hmm. It's nothing. I would rather you doubt me than love me before the clock. Mm. Mm. That's right. I feel that. Now, you're also a trainer. Okay? Right. Now, how much do you enjoy training? And speak on some of the guys you've been able to train and, and how they're actually doing. Oh, man. Like, the training aspect of things has been crazy because I love seeing people mm -hmm. thrive. Like, mm -hmm. say, I, like I just said, like, I had a few young guys I've been training. One of them just recently got an offer, scholarship, okay. changed his life. He's finna, he got an offer from Colorado. He's mm -hmm. finna change his life. There's no doubt Come about it. Mm -hmm. Shout out my boy, Lil Russell Shaw, man. Shout out Lil Russell, yes sir. Uh, Lil Russell's my quarterback. Mm -hmm. I'm training his little brother. He got off from Colorado, boom, it's over. It's 10th grade. I trained him Dang, and I was settling crazy, him yeah. mentally. It ain't about physically. I'm mm -hmm. training you physically, mm -hmm. but you need my mindset. Mm -hmm. You need it now. You don't need to wait till 12th grade. You don't need to wait till 11th grade. You don't need to wait till 10th grade. At the end, to be filling out job apps and motherfucking college applications. No, mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. I told him, you can't wait now. You're going to get an offer after this. Mm -hmm. Think about you getting an offer after this workout. Mm -hmm. Take it that serious. And he did. And then applied it. He got an offer. That's he crazy. Even, he only played what? Three, four quarters of varsity. Already got off. Dang, that's Now I got crazy, USC. Yeah. Now I got, because Hayes Pilar, shout out Hayes Pilar, Crush on Legend Hayes, yeah. with your boy. Shout out shout Hayes. Shout out Hayes, man. I got Hayes looking at my boy USC. I got my boy at Florida State, my boy Eduardo Middleton, one of my linemen at mm -hmm. Washington State. He looking at him. Mm -hmm. Got boys at Mississippi State, Mike Leach and all them that coached me in college looking at him. Mm -hmm. His sky is the limit. So anybody I train, I got plugs for you. It ain't just about the training. It's about bettering yourself as a man and leveling up in life. You can change your family life just by having a degree. Mm -hmm. Some of these guys don't want to play no further than college. Yeah. But it doesn't matter to me. I will take your skills to a different level if you train with me because of my mindset. Mm -hmm. Because of the mindset. Remember he said that. It's all about this mindset. It's not physical. It's all about your mental. You're going to work hard, yeah. though. Yeah. Don't work hard. You got to. Not stopping that. Mm -hmm. And like they say, mind over matter. You know what I'm saying? Now, you recently held a camp with One Take J. How, important, how important is it for you to Shout give back? Shout out my boy back? One Take J. Shout out I'm trying to get you on here. You shout out to the my whole DM. east side, man. We up now, man. Yeah, shout out the whole east side. They slept on the east side. Now we competing with the west. Now they trying to, you know, they trying to hate on it. But man, we ain't going to let it. Gotta wake people up. Gotta wake them we up. We know now. what's going on, yeah. man. They looking real good. <laughs> now, how important is it for you to give back to your, you know, to the youth, to your community um, with these camps? And how fulfilling is that for you? Oh man, I can't, I, I can't put in the words mm. as far as like, I can't put in the words as far as like when I see the thrill in these yeah. kids' face, yeah. I be like, damn, I used to be that kid. Yeah. I used to be that kid uh -huh. that was looking up to these these trainers like, oh yeah. my God, like I got to show, I got to show off. Uh -huh. I'm finna do, run the fastest I could. I yeah. could catch the ball. I could do this. I could shake people. I could do this. I see these people. I see these kids. They come from different beginnings than me, and I'd be like, damn. <laughs> yeah. Like, just looking back at them, like, damn, like, I'm a coach. Like, I'm their coach because they, they sink into me so much because I'm a player. Uh -huh. But at the end of the day, I'm a coach, too. Uh -huh. So it's like, ah, I love that shit. I love it. I <laughs> it's really just fulfilling it. up. It's so fulfilling right. because they, yeah. they really get something out of this. They're yeah. getting scholarships. They're getting looked at. They're, yeah. They're getting seen by one take J and these guys. Now they're linking up with one take J, taking mm -hmm. pictures. Now they're linking up with Jeezy Obama, linking up with Klan, and they loving the whole everything we're bringing to the table. Mm -hmm. They see that and they're not taking it for granted. Mm -hmm. They're cherishing and they're applying the best that they could do. And when I see that, I be I'm good right there. I feel that. I feel I'm that. I'm good. Yeah. I put a smile on my face mm -hmm. as long as they smiling. Mm -hmm. And now. This is what y'all might not know about Cheetah. You know what I'm saying? Shout out Boo Bucks Clan. This right Clan. here is DNA right here now. Man. Cheetah has also been in the studio going crazy. He was oh just playing God. me his music in the car. Oh and what y'all might not know is Cheetah and Jeezy Obama was rapping at the age of nine, right? He Man. said they made them a song way back then. Got now, songs, got the lyrics to it all. Now, now, what got you inspired to really get in the studio and do the work that you're doing right now? I just say like like Clan say like we get we get bands for fun it be fun like uh -huh. when I'm not training uh, when I'm not with my girl or something or I'm like 
I'm not on bullshit time. Yeah. Like, I'm not no bullshit ass dude. Trying to handle business. Yeah. 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 I want to be able to handle something else. Talk to more people that's going to close the door when you don't handle business. Mm -hmm. So music always been my outlet. Mm -hmm. Even if I'm not rapping, I, I feel a certain way when I hear certain songs. Mm -hmm. like, ever since I was little. Mm -hmm. Through Lil Wayne, through Drake, through the Futures, through the Uzis, to the, you know, mm -hmm. Young Boys, to the everything we listen to now. Yeah. I feel it. So I just be like, as much as I freestyle rap, me and Jeezy been freestyling since we was eight and nine years mm -hmm. old. Made the song, so he was like, Let's go to the stool ourselves and have some fun. Mm -hmm. And let's see what come out with it. Mm -hmm. Straight fun. Not dissing nobody, not trying to be better than nobody or nothing. Yeah, having fun. Having fun. Do you feel like you able to put the same energy you put in a football into rap? I could. Mm -hmm. I could. I mean, just as far as like that same feeling that you get from playing. No, I definitely could. Yeah, I yeah. definitely could. I definitely yeah. could. I mm -hmm. definitely could. Mm -hmm. The last song I just made, I was feeling like that. Yeah. I was like, I'm not finna, I don't need no breaks when I'm, I don't need no breaks when I'm rapping. I'm about to spit this shit all the way through. Mm. Not to be cussing so much, but no, that's how I feel in the studio. I'm spitting this shit all the way through. Yeah. Like, like, like it's this. Yeah. Say it's this. Mm -hmm. I'm about to read the whole thing, no breaks, and no I'm finna make it yeah. sound good. Yeah. That's how I feel about football, same way. Like, mm. it's third down and eight, I'm finna lock his ass up. I know I gotta lock him, I'm about to make it look good. Mm -hmm. Same way, I can do the same thing. It's just about resources and who you know and what you know. You can't do everything by yourself, and we all know that. That's a fact, you need a team. Need I got a, team. a good team of people that stick together with me because I'm loyal and they yeah. loyal, so anytime I need some help, I could call out for somebody for help, but I'm yeah. not ever reaching for no handout. Yeah. You know, okay. and that's how all of us move. Yeah. All of us move the same way. Okay. Clan, we all blew up because we didn't need no handouts. We did it with us. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Understood. Now yeah, people reaching them. out for handouts for us. Yeah, and being them, being 100% true, that's all you need. Real East Side demo niggas. Right, right. Now, unless you living under a rock, then you probably heard about the Hit Your Squabble, you know what I mean? Oh, man. And uh, Cheetah described his story as being with Nugget. Shout out Nugget. Shout out my, my boy fault. Nugget, man. You know what I'm saying? Being with Nugget. My they playing Kobe. Madden. And you did the hit you you hit you did the hit your squabble to two short song. Was it choosing? Choosing. Choosing, right? Yep. Now walk us walk us choosing through this situation. Yeah, walk us through this situation so for boom. those who don't know. So boom, me and Nugget, my boy Nugget, man, we chilling on the east side, man. We playing the game. Boom. No, you're going back at it. I think it was like thirty four to twenty seven. It was a yeah, close going game. Back and forth. Game, yeah. He scored. He on some he's two stepping. <laughs> he like this. I scored right back, ran back to kick. I said, <laughs> I put my controller down because I'm like, it's over. Yeah, it's yeah, over. I put yeah. my controller down. I said, nigga, we yeah. started doing it back. He was like, nigga, all right, I'm going to run back to the next kick. Yeah. I was like, <laughs> we just it started to that. adding shit. Yeah. He scored. He said, uh huh. It was just like, we was doing football shit. It yeah. was really football shit. Yeah. And then, that shit was just hard. Like, like the more people that seen that, it was mm -hmm. like, that shit hard. Like, mm -hmm. like it's a squabble. And it's a catchy dance. Yeah, yeah we was going at it. That's yeah. what it was like. We put the controllers down. Like, yeah. hold on. Yeah. Like, what could you do? What's yeah. the most you could do? Like, hold on. Like, hold on. Like, you know, we yeah. just start doing shit. Yeah. And it was just like, every party we went to after that, it was going, going colossal. Going crazy, it was going yeah. colossal. Like, yeah. school was going colossal. Girls was hitting it. Yeah. Teachers hitting it. Everybody was hitting that door. So it was right. just like, and we was winning, so it was like every party, everywhere we go, it was like that was a celebration. Yeah. Touchdown celebrations. People in the NFL, now people in the NFL hitting it. Yeah, that's what I was going to get into. Seeing people, okay, not only them, but and it's that's kids. my path, right? Yeah, and it's, it's, kids, it's kids, 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 kids making hitting, TikToks. And looking at people in the NFL hit that. How do you feel about what y'all started in that living room that day? I know you didn't even imagine it would get that big. Ah, uh, man. It, I, I didn't at the time. <laughs> I, I definitely didn't. <laughs> I definitely didn't think yeah. it would go that far, but yeah. at the end of the day, it did. Mm -hmm. So it's like, damn. I don't even know what to say. Like, it's already trademarked by a real one. I don't yeah. even got to put it in the stone. It's just like, yeah. if you know, you know. Facts. If you know, you know. Mm -hmm. I just spread it around all through the college, all through the league. Everybody doing it. NBA, yeah. all through the all the sports that we play. Oh, it's state to state now. Yeah, it's state to state. I now. done been played in Texas, Oklahoma, Washington, Seattle, 
Tampa, all type of Florida, Miami, Snoop Dogg, mm-hmm. Snoop hitting it. Right. Oh. This is like damn. And that's another thing too. You got labeled a SYFL legend by Snoop Dogg himself. Oh man. How how happy were you about seeing that? And how did you take that in? Matter of fact, what was your relationship like with Snoop? Because Snoop loved you in the way that you played. And he also ended up at Wazoo for some shows, right? Yeah. Now, how was that whole experience with with, with Snoop? Man, I love Snoop, man. Shout out to Coach Snoop, man. I love you, man. I love everything you ever did for me, man. Mm -hmm. I appreciate it to the T. Mm -hmm. I will never disrespect you. I will never speak bad on your name, Coach. I love you, man. And that's a real one speaking to you. Mm -hmm. But uh, other than that, me and Snoop got a great connection, man. Ever since we met, he was already up. He was my offensive coordinator because we met in the All Star game. Yeah, Snoop loved him. After they beat us, he was like, "Okay, yeah. Cheetah put up point, points on us. We yeah. was a great, great team. Cheetah the only one put up points on us." He told me after the game when we met him up at Rancho, up at Dorsey. He said, "You come with us to Florida." I'm crying after mm. we lost to him. I'm crying. They going to the Super Bowl. He like, "You come with us to Florida. Don't don't let that bother you." Yeah. I'm like. I let that bother me. Yeah. He like you come with us to Florida. I'm like, all right. He gonna get you too. He gonna make it oh, happen. All right. yeah. I'm like, damn. He told me some shit. <laughs> so I'm turning my pads in. I'm like, all right, boom, boom. I'm thinking about it like, boom. Two days later, I get an email. Email. I'm gonna use my email. Your email. Snoop hitting me. Up. Snoop. Like, you know, like you. It, it's that time to link up. We linked up. It was all love, man. I respect Snoop to the fullest because I know he been through a lot of shit with with the Shug mm-hmm. situation, Tupac, all the shit he's been through mm-hmm. in life. Like, I respect that guy as an icon, as mm-hmm. a legend, as a music legend first. Then as a man, he came to me. He didn't have to know me. Snoop Dogg did not have to know me. Yeah, Everybody he had to deal Snoop with Dogg. you. Yeah, yeah. He didn't have to know me. Mm-hmm. I just linked up with Snoop recently at the Revolt because I was doing some music stuff. And I was at Revolt mm-hmm. up there at the Reef, mm-hmm. where Mel used to cut at. Shout out to Mel too. Mel Rose on cut. Mel Rose on Go cut. get that cut, man. Book we your in cut the, on we in the building right yeah. now. He's downstairs. Yes, sir. But uh, I linked up with him at Revolt, and it was just like a a big like sigh of relief, like yeah. like it don't even matter about the league or none of that. Like this just, is just you my love, guy. Like, love. Yeah. yeah, like. Yeah. It was me, Snoop, Baron Davis, Matt Barnes, uh-huh. uh, a bunch of security, his sons and stuff. We was just chilling, uh-huh. chilling the real Snoop way, catching up. And it was just like, Snoop always been there for me, so I'm always there for him. Uh-huh. Put it like that. I feel that. I feel oh, that. So, um, she the what? I can call him anytime. He gonna answer. He gonna mess with he you. He pulled man. up to Washington State after my spring game. Yeah. Did a show. Yeah. I'm backstage with him yeah. the whole yeah. time with Dash yeah, Corrupt. That. All them. Yeah, yeah. My coach is like, "What are you doing? Mm-hmm. Like, what are you like? Are you doing? Did you think you're a celebrity? Like, I'm yeah. like, this is regular. Like, yeah. this is regular love. Like, mm-hmm. stop zooming in on my pictures and looking at my eyes and doing oh, all that. Like, I'm gosh. with Snoop Dogg. Yeah, what do you think? Yeah, like, yeah. stop putting two two together. Like, this yeah. is my uncle. Like, yeah. think about it like that. Yeah. And he played it at Washington. It was lit. Yeah. After that, it was just like he got me more lit at Washington because of that. Yeah. Showed me how was doing all that. Shout out to Snoop Dogg, yeah. man. Shout Real out to Snoop. On me. We didn't Changed all, my life, we man. We didn't all played up in that league. That was the best league to play in, man. if you ask me, Snoop. Put me um, on TV, did man. a lot of things. T- I mean, I took my first flight in that league. You know what I mean? Going, to, going, to, going to Miami. That was my first flight with For Coach real. Snoop. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, he changed life. Yeah, facts. That's a fact. And shout out to everybody else that had made it out of that league that's doing their thing. A lot of them cheated and did his stuff against. They didn't compete. A lot of people that looked up to yeah, in for the Snoop sure. League. All the players that played in the Snoop League, y'all mm-hmm. know. Mm-hmm. Coach Snoop don't play that, man. He's a real one if he's a real one with you. Yes, sir. You got to come real. correct. Like that, like that. Now, y'all make sure y'all look out. Cheetah about to drop this music. Man. Y'all make sure y'all look out for Cheetah this football season. Y'all ain't gonna be able to hide from the information. You gonna see it, cause Cheetah gonna do his thing. He gonna ball out like he usually man. do. Um, and Cheetah, you know, if you got something to say to the next young man that's looking up, that's about to be in the same position you were in, what you gonna tell him and, and, and prepare him for the next level with your own words? Let him know we are gonna finish off with that. All I'm gonna say to you is never quit. 
Never let nobody tell you what you can or can't do. Mm -hmm. I don't care who it is, what position of authority that they have over you. I don't care if it's your parent. I don't care if it's your cousin that you look up to. I don't care if it's your coach that has power over that. Mm -hmm. Never quit because God always got a plan in store for you mm -hmm. as long as you never quit. That's My cool. life is a living testimony of that. Never quit. Never settle. All gas, no brakes. This is where we come from. Mm -hmm. Don't think you don't got to use them same, uh, what is called templates and same standards that were set for us. Don't think you're not going to have to use that later on in life. No, you're going to have to use that your whole life or you're going to be gone. It's a lot of people we know that's dead and gone. Rest in peace and we miss all our fallen soldiers that's dead and gone. Facts. But we are here now to make a change. So we all got to go one day. So, you know, live it up. Always have fun with whatever you're doing. But never quit. Stay relentless. Stay relentless. Even if you're not the most relentless person. Change your game. Switch it up. Do something. Be different. Because I was always different. I was always called weird and odd and strange for the alleys and ways I took out of the hood and shit like that. But can't nobody press me. Can't nobody do nothing to me. I was never scared of none, nobody. Mm -hmm. Can't nobody make me do nothing that you don't want to do. And don't let nobody do that to you, for real. Don't let nobody put that in your head that they control you. You control you. You will make it if you want to make it. Mm -hmm. And that's by putting, working your ass off, knowing who you know, and being cool with who you cool with. Because mm -hmm. they're going to respect that. Always stay yourself. Never change up no matter what room you're in. Know that you are the highest in the room when you walk in the room. Not the smartest, but respect yourself. Value yourself. You got stuff to learn too. You not you don't know it all. But at the end of the day, give it your all. Give it your all. You gonna get the best out of life. You feel me? Shout out to Team Nike though. Yeah. Just like that. Clap it up LA. We out. Yes, sir.